What's up guys, Christian here back at you for Sneaker Talk with a brand new sneaker review and today we are taking a look at the Air Jordan 1 New Love for 2017. I am so happy they brought the sneaker back for 2017. It's been a decade since these came out originally. Uh, but yeah, before we get into the sneaker, first off, I want to say welcome to all the new viewers on the channel. If you haven't heard about Sneaker Talk yet, we upload daily sneaker videos on this channel from vlogs, reviews, unboxings, hauls, all that kind of stuff. So if you're new, think about subscribing. Feel free to check out another video after this. But let's get to what you guys are here for, my review of the Air Jordan 1 New Love. Now, originally, this Air Jordan 1 dropped in a pack in Air April 21st, 2007, in part of the Defining Moments package. Now, this was like a series of uh, two-pack sneaker releases that Jordan Brand was doing. They were all coming in really nice packaging and double boxes and stuff. But this time, they just dropped the new love, the black and yellow pair, by itself. The other pair in that pack was the Black Toe Air Jordan 1, but it was in like a mid-cut version. And as you guys can tell, this is also in a mid-cut version, and it is lacking the Nike Air branding on the tongue, and it has the Jumpman on the back. That's because this is not actually an OG colorway, which makes a lot of sense. Now as a hype beast, I wish they would have the Nike Air branding on the top, but it really wouldn't make that much sense to do so. Now when these dropped in that two pair pack, these retailed for $200 US for both shoes. So you're looking at $100 per shoe. A decade later, these retail now by itself for $140. I would love to get the 2007 pair from a decade ago to compare it 1v1, but they are a pain in the butt to find. I am an Air Jordan 1 connoisseur. I have a couple other pairs. I have the uh, I have the bread Air Jordan 1s here. I have the uh, Royals Air Jordan 1 here. I have a custom pair in the back uh, from Sneaker Talk branding. And because these Air Jordan 1 new loves are a Jordan 1 mid, I'll compare it with the Jordan 1 high. So as you guys can see, there's about a half an inch difference in terms of the height. And uh, that is one of the main differences between the two sneakers. Besides that, the overall quality of a Jordan 1 mid is typically lower than the OG pairs of Air Jordan 1s. So I know the leather quality was really, really nice on the Royals and the Breads, but because this is a mid, they sort of skimmed out on the quality. Now, it's not complete ass, but uh, let's just say the Air Jordan leather quality on the sneaker is nothing to be proud of, or not even close to comparison of the Royals or the Breads. With that said, I'll bring the sneaker up close to the camera, show you guys some of the details, and then I will throw them on feet later on. First things first, as you guys can see, we have a black and yellow color scheme. We got yellow on all of the leather of the sneaker. So from the back here, the swoosh, this little lace area here, and of course, the toe box. Now the black portion of the sneaker is actually a new buck material. If you have other Air Jordan 1 mids, the quality is exactly the same as those Jordan 1 mids. So you know what you're getting if you've dealt with the mids in the past. Now, because it is a mid, I feel like it's gonna deter quite a few people from buying it. And I know a lot of the hypebeats who only want Nike Air branding on the tongue will stay away from this. So hopefully if you want these, you can get them at retail. I don't expect resales to be very, very high. Uh, I'm not sure if these would hit outlets because honestly, no Jordan is safe from the outlets these days. We have the uh, black Air Jordan wings branding on the side here. We got the yellow uh, leather swoosh. And then down the laces, we got some black laces. We got the yellow Jumpman here with the uh, Air branding. And if you did want to swap in some yellow laces, they also included yellow laces as well. I feel like I'm just gonna keep the black laces in. I like the more subtle look it gives because the yellow already pops enough as it does. And then looking at the very bottom of the sneaker, it's sole, we got this yellow outsole. Now the official colorway for the sneaker is black slash varsity maze white. Uh, and for these Air Jordan 1 mids, they gave it the uh, like anniversary, I guess, box. The black and gold uh, regular box for a lot of releases. No Nike Air treatment because again, this was not a Nike Air, like a OG release. So it just wouldn't make sense to give it a Nike Air box. With that said, if you do like Air Jordan 1s, I feel like you will like this silhouette. I know yellow isn't for everybody. It's definitely out there, but I think for summer and spring, it's really a nice shade to have in your outfits and in your rotation. Now, as far as sizing and comfort goes for the sneakers, don't expect amazing comfort. It is an Air Jordan 1. It feels exactly the same as all the other Air Jordan 1s in the past. And if you don't know what that feels like for whatever reason, uh, it I want to say it's like a solid 6 out of 10 comfort, like it's not uncomfortable, um, it's just a solid sneaker all around, but 
you know, if you're gonna walk around all day long wearing Jordan 1s, don't expect your feet to be like on cloud nine at the end of the day. Your feet might feel a little sore. However, if you are looking to upgrade the comfort of the Air Jordan 1, definitely look into buying an extra insole that you could swap in and put inside of here or take an insole out of a running sneaker, for example. Maybe some Ultra Boost or a pair of Chuck Taylor 2s. I know the Lunar Lawn insole is a go-to for me. And as far as sizing goes, I would recommend going your true size in Jordan 1s. But if you have a wide foot, it's very common to go half a size up. But yeah, definitely don't go half a size down. Go your true size on the Air Jordan 1 New Love. With that said, that's going to wrap up today's sneaker review. If you guys enjoyed it, please smash that thumbs up button down below. Help me grow this channel. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers, so I think we can do it by the end of the month. And uh, I'll leave you guys with some on-feet footage at the end of the video. In the comments down below, let me know if these are a cop or a drop. Did you guys buy these? Did you just pass on them? Did you take an L? Did they not release in your area? I know these are available right now on the Nike Canada website. Um, there wasn't any big official release date or any hype uh, surrounding it on Instagram. And I know a couple subscribers ended up buying these after I showed them in a vlog of me buying them. Um, if you do want to buy them, I'll leave links down below to where you can buy them on the Nike website if they are still available on the website. I think one or two sizes might be sold out, but I think you should be able to get them. Um, you can even think about it for like a week. It doesn't have to be an instant cop, in my opinion. Air Jordan 1s are just an all around great shoe, and they also look great as they age. So if you're looking for that one sneaker a year that you get, uh, this might be the sneaker because as the sneaker ages, it's not going to look worse and worse. It ages gracefully like little little beauty marks, you could say, from all the beating up it takes. But yeah, I'll leave you guys with some on feet. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in another video.